Hello and welcome to tutorial 180 and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at drawing rectangles, trend lines and text objects. We're going to start with a rectangle and we're going to do a very simple example and then we're going to be looking at some slightly more complex and I'll probably put this in a first video and then uh, do the rest in a second video but if we look at the program or rather we look at the inputs to the program you'll see that uh, what we've got is a line start line end which also apply in this case to the rectangle. And we're using this format, which is the American style of date, and then the, the time in an hour, minute, and second format, both the start and the end. We've also got the, the price start and end values. We can also adjust the color and the transparency. Well, actually we, we, in this first example, we're not gonna be um, changing the transparency because it's hard coded in the program. Let's have a look at what we get. Now, let's go into the program and see this very simple example. And uh, the first thing we have to do is convert the text inputs of the date time into a date time object. Unfortunately, there is a very straightforward method to do that, datetime.parse. We do that for both the start and the end. And then to input into the drawing objects, we need date time points, which include the price. And again, there is a very simple approach to doing that. We just use dtpoint.create, and that has two inputs, the date time object and a price. The date time object and a price for both the start and the end. And then we create the rectangle using rectangle.create dt.1, dt.2. This is one of the ways we can create rectangles. We'll look at another in a moment. And then we've set the, uh, the properties here. Notably, the color we're using from the line color value, which was that uh, value in quotes, that is converted into a color object using color.fromName. Then the fill color, we're also using color.fromName to create the color object, but this time we need to change the transparency. And I've got that fixed at 100. It can be between zero and 255, 255 being fully opaque. And then we've created the rectangle. We need to apply it to the chart. We need to add it to the chart. We do that using drawing objects dot add, and then the name of the rectangle, which works fine, but there is a slight problem because if I were to go into the studies and pick a time that we've not reached yet, a time that is not appearing on the chart. So let's say 5.30, put that in, 5, no, I actually say 5.15, that's fine. You will notice now that the rectangle appears to have disappeared. And that is because we do not have a bar on the chart for that time. And if we were to go in and compress the chart a little bit, or in fact, that's not what we're going to do. We're going to add more bars to the chart. So I'm going to right click the chart, I'm going to go settings, find window. And we've got uh, 10 bars at the end of the chart. We're going to make that 50 bars which will create some more space. But what you'll see now, effectively there is a bar for that time that we input. In fact, saying 516, because we had a second value. But if we remove that, then the rectangle disappears. Now, you might, uh, you might wish that if this situation occurred, that instead of the rectangle just not showing at all, that actually the rectangle were extended to the end of the chart. So that is what we're gonna be doing in the second part of the tutorial. <laughs> 